The landscape of the entertainment industry has certainly changed over the past decade. And one of the defining moments, one of the turning points, one of the things that in all likelihood changed everything was the reaction to Ghostbusters 2016. Not just from a fan base that for the most part rejected it, didn't like what they decided to do and just basically gender swap and try to do some reboot that was extremely unfunny, but also with the way the studio and the actors and actresses involved in this thing decided to turn on fans and blame fans fans said if you criticize this it's because you're a sexist it's because you're a racist and apparently some of the people involved will still not stop talking about it and one of those people is leslie jones Leslie Jones opens up on Ghostbusters death threats, Jason Reitman's unforgivable comments, and fighting to increase her $67,000 salary offer. Yeah, not only is she revisiting all the hate that she got for it and once again doubling down, saying anybody that was critical of the movie, they're just a loser, they're just a sexist, but she's also complaining because she didn't get paid as much as her co-stars. Leslie Jones, I got paid way less than Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig on Ghostbusters. No knock on them, but my first offer to do that movie was for 67000 I had to fight to get more. In the end, I got 150000 you got to love when people just want to play perpetual victim at all times. Again, she's talking about not getting paid enough for a movie that lost money for the studio. The studio paid all you guys way too fucking much. This was a movie with a budget, just a production budget, of $144 million. And it only made $230 million worldwide. So that's not accounting for the marketing budget. That's not accounting for the box office cut. This thing lost tens of millions, if not $100 million for them, undeniably. Yet you have Leslie Jones saying that it's not okay that she got paid so little. And I've already seen some people responding to this, Critical Drinker, because Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig were both established actors with proven track records, comparatively at least. Leslie Jones wasn't. They got paid more because they were worth more. And now my buddy Matthew Marsden also says... It's absolutely normal for actors to get offered jobs at scale if the movie will boost their profile. It's not always about that movie, but the ones that come after. In addition, the other actors involved were more established and probably had higher quotes. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Leslie Jones does have a long acting career, but unfortunately, nearly all of it's in a random television series, one episode as Angry Woman, something like that. Almost nothing of note other than what she did on Saturday Night Live before this movie came around. And unfortunately for her, it wasn't exactly the career windfall that she expected because not only did it bomb, not only was it incredibly divisive, but people hated her character and the way that she portrayed it. And now she's writing a book all about it, and she wants you to feel really, really bad for her. She goes over the the backlash that happened, all the stuff on social media that happened that made her cry because of these comments. How can people say something so hateful about these movies? This is awful. I'm in a movie, death threats for something as small as that? I can't believe anyone would do this shit to someone, anyone, for working. And she goes into detail about some of the things that she said she had in her DMs, which are, are gross, right? If these things actually happen, I haven't seen any proof or anything posted like that, but if these things are true, what she describes, that's disgusting and absolutely shouldn't happen. At the same time, this is the internet. I've made videos in the past, not that long ago, with a reaction I had to Blue Beetle where I was getting death threats. I was getting racist shit. I was getting a bunch of that for giving my opinion about a movie. That doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it okay, but it is part of being on the internet and with that anonymity. Some of the things that some of these fucking pieces of shit out there will do. And that sucks, but it's part of it. But it's important to remember that at that time, the studio and Leslie Jones and other her co-stars and stuff, they were firing back at fans. They were saying a lot of shit about fans. So I guess it's not really surprising that there was so much back and forth when you're also putting that energy out there. She also talked about how mad she still is at Jason Reitman saying when he did the reboot Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is much better received by Ghostbusters fans than Ghostbusters 2016, trying to get the original tech and hand the movie back to fans. Leslie Jones called this an unforgivable comment. Uh, What, giving it back to the fans is unforgivable? Giving fans what they want in a Ghostbusters movie, that's unforgivable? Okay. Jones writes, the damage was done. Bringing up the idea of giving the movie back to the fans was a pretty clear shout out to all those losers who went after us for making an all-female film. They didn't go after you for making an all-female film. 
They went after you for making a Ghostbusters reboot that was just gender swapped and full of woke identity politics and completely unfunny. They were mad because you destroyed what up to then they had loved that franchise. And then you did that. It's not that you were just making an all female movie and people came and attacked you over it. It's because you were trying to push this into something at a pre established fan base. And the fact is, seven years after the fact, you know, you're still trying to play victim, still trying to make people feel bad for you because you were in a movie that was a disaster, that was a flop, that people did not like and probably didn't help your career the way you thought it would, to the point where you're complaining about how little he got paid next to your co-stars who at that point were more established than you and likely were able to demand more money than you. Yeah, everybody feel really sad for poor Leslie Jones. It's wild that we're still talking about this movie seven years later. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.